Hello again guys and welcome to another Redstone video with Cass on the Maisoma channel. So today I'm going to show you my new design for a very simple cocoa bean farm. It's just a wall, in this case I decided to build it 4 by 8 but it has two sides so yeah you can every time plant one stack of cocoa beans and get away with two of them and you can even um, pick different designs for each side, I'm just doing it here to demonstrate. And those two bottles, they do the same thing, they will help you harvest uh, then by doing this. So all you have to do is to wait for the line of hoppers that we have down here to collect the drops for you and, the, and then you can access this chest here and retrieve your items. To use the farm again, uh, if you have the same dimensions as I do, uh, all you need to do is to use the simple method. So I go one, two, uh, and leave some room for you to jump out of the machine because you're going to you remember that you are one block down. And finally, on your way back, just jump out, place the last two blocks, and you can do the same on the opposite side. When you're ready to harvest again, just go and press the button, and yeah. Finally, as mentioned before, this design is really easy to expand. So let's go and build it. Alright boys and girls, uh, let's start off by defining the size of our wall. So we will need jungle wood, it can be placed in whatever orientation you want it to be. So just shape it and it can be as high as 11 and it can go uh, infinitely horizontally as long as you amplify the signals uh, with repeaters. On the side of your wall you're gonna any kind of blocks here and have one regular piston here and one solid block here and one air gap followed by another uh, regular piston. A good thing to do on the, at the bottom is to place uh, blocks that will emit light so it will help with the growth. So from this line count two blocks and place one sticky piston, two solid blocks like so, one redstone torch and redstone dust right here. Yeah, your input is going to be exactly at this line so place one uh, stone button Sorry guys, I had to cut. <laughs> so one stone button and it can't be a uh, wooden button otherwise you will have to set the repeater on the top on 4 ticks. And right here we will place one repeater on one tick and redstone dust. The circuit on the top is also pretty simple. Just make a shape like this and do the same on the opposite side place one repeater here and another one here and redstone dust here, this was <laughs> placed accidentally uh, flick this lever on and yeah that should be all you need on this side so if you activate your input now you will see that this column uh, will move twice. What we need now is to transmit the signal along this redstone line here and finally place our uh, dispensers with one water bucket inside each one of them. Finally, if you don't want to collect the items by yourself, you need to place one line of hoppers here and you can do the same on the opposite side, just like this. And you can also mirror uh, the other parts of the circuit, just like I did here. For the last step, just finish placing uh, blocks around the wall uh, as you wish and you can then uh, build your wall of, out of glass for example and then your farm will be ready to be used. Your farm now should be ready to be used and uh, as a final note, some of you might want uh, to cover up this wall so yeah, to get rid of those guys uh, there is an option. You can place uh, one repeater here and then have a solid block here and here and place redstone dust here and here and cut the wire using two solid blocks on the sides like this and replace this solid block with a block of redstone and now you can close those. Don't place blocks here please. And let's test it. Yeah and it works fine and we can collect our items here. So guys, this is it for this tutorial. Uh, this is a really, really simple creation, but yeah, the idea is to have something expandable and simple to build in survival. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe. There's more of it on my channel. And thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time.
often we have a lamp uh, which will blink at a lower, a lower base compared to the dispensers. So yeah, it's a good feature.